Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Battlefield 2042. And now I already hear you say, but Maurice, you already did a video on Battlefield 2042. Well, if you know my videos, I always say, and updates. So it was a really big update. Let's get back to Battlefield 2042. First of all, let's see how much data this game is. And that's a whopping 89.1 GB. The game is on Game Pass. So if you have a Game Pass subscription, you get EA Play. And with EA Play, you can get the full version of Battlefield 2042. So that's pretty cool. You can get a lot of extras and stuff. And I don't know what, but yeah. The game is fully optimized for the new generation of consoles pretty well, actually. And um, this is version 5. Point, no, I have to be correct. 5.2. So this is the newest um, yeah, um, wave of improvements or uh, yeah, how do how do they call how do, do they call it a quality of life improvements update? So a lot of things were handled already because at first the game was in a really bad state when it first came out. But let's just start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me. You're really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a daily basis. New games, old games, updates on games, and sometimes even a little bit of hardware here and there so battlefield 2042 not gonna lie i'm not a really big battlefield player um yeah i think the last battlefield i actually liked and played was battlefield 2 on the xbox 360 that's after that i was mm, meh i was good <laughs> So, um, first of all, there are no really, um, uh, there are no graphical settings or anything. There is a field of view mode, uh, vehicle, third person field of view, ADS field of view. Uh, you can uh, use the brightness, HDR. Uh, I've got motion blur off. I don't like motion blur. Chromatic aberration. I don't like mo chromatic aberration. Off. Vignette. Off. I don't like all those uh, extra stuff uh i just want to play the game um let's go start up a mission uh, let's do this one. Okay. so <laughs> i'm really bad at this by the way this is uh, call of duty is okay-ish for me i think i can shoot a little bit in call of duty battlefield is <laughs> i'm a complete total noob but like truly a noob um the game itself runs actually quite well it's up to around uh 1290p dynamic on its highest but it can go as low as like somewhere 840 810p but most of the time it's yeah let's be honest it, it hangs around 1080p at 60 fps there's no ray tracing in the game but yeah, it, it looks incredible on the Series S. Let's be uh, let's be honest. New gun on the block. Yeah, that's I'm definitely a new gun on the block. Mm, can I get into a vehicle? I want to go into. I don't want to go in a vehicle. Deploy. Yes. No idea. If I could f see it or oh oh oh, they're already shooting at me. Nope, nope. We hold more sectors than the hostile. Oh my goodness. Probably gonna die really fast. 
You see? It was like instant almost. I am not good at these games. But that's not the reason why I'm playing this. So, yeah. It, first of all, it's way more stable. Um, most of the crazy bugs that were first in the game are solved. Thankfully. Uh, it was a really big mess. One of the worst optimized games. I've seen in a long time. I really didn't like it. Oh, no, 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 no. Run, run, run. Run, run. Darn it. It looks gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie. I wish it had single player. Because it's online only, so... Ah, oh, come on! Even my dog thinks that's stupid. That was stupid. Burn, baby, burn. Ah. Oh my goodness. I'm so not good at this. Give me anything else. Ah! Pancakes. You know, there's just no fun in this game. I don't know what it is. I'm first of all, I'm really bad. Second, I I just don't care. You should go play more Battlefield. It's a fun game. <laughs> you know, in graphics, I think it's one of the most gorgeous uh, games you can get. The Frostbite engine looks really da darn good. But it just feels more like a, a glorified... Um, how do you say that? Uh, tech demo than a full-fledged game in my opinion and that's the problem what that i have with a lot of battlefield games these days especially after um they were bought by yeah but i got one i got one they got me but i got one I gotta kill. You know, everything works and uh, the grass moves in the uh, everywhere. And it looks great. If only it was a fun game. For me. Then again, I'm a little bit strange with uh, games that I like. We now hold more sectors than they do. Good work. Friendly on the ground. I 
give it 10 more seconds before I die again. You see? Here we go. No, no, no. Did I just won that fight? No. I got one. I got one. Yes. Come on, Maurice. Where's the bugger? We got Sector Charlie. Almost every sector is under our control. Keep it that way. Where did he go? Darn it, I knew it. Hey, at least I had two kills, so that's something, I think. Probably, maybe. I don't know. Ah, come on. Mm, I got damage assist. Pancakes. Nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Nobody knows my sadness. Ah! Got you. Oh, by the way, is it playable with mouse and keyboard? Let's try it out. Nope. Not by the looks of it. Who? I don't think so. No. No mouse and keyboard support, sadly. Why? would think that something like this should have mouse and keyboard support. Man, this game looks gorgeous. Retreat! No, not retreat. What the? Pancakes. Darn it. This is not my this is not my game. 
But yeah, you guys, this is Battlefield 2042. I will leave a link in the description where you can see all the patch notes for version 5.2. It's 10 times better than it was when the game first came out. For me personally, it says nothing, but I still because I still don't like it. But yeah, go check it out. If you are into these kind of games, uh, give it a chance. Maybe you will like it. And I hope so. It's on Game Pass, so why not? Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. <laughs> Bye.